y'all. Thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Misty and the channel's name, of course, is Speculative Magpie. And I am here to kind of do a uh, May TBR kind of thing going on. Um, I'm not really going to do a TBR per se this month. Um, I pretty much did mood reading last month and that pretty much went, you know, good for me. I think I'll stick to TBRs around, you know, Halloween and stuff like that when um, there's some more spooky, scary readathons going on. I enjoyed those. Those were kind of fun. So looking forward to doing that this year. So as far as books I'm going to read, oh, um, you notice I kind of switched stuff around. I moved my chair in front of my TBR shelf. So those are the books that I have. Well, some of them. I have my cart over here full of books too. But yeah, so trying to look more booktube-ish um, to say that I actually do have, you know, books. <laughs> um, they look kind of bare. I kind of want to get like cool stuff to put up there with the books too. But we'll see as we go along a little bit at a time. So, I just did a review for the last book I read in um, April. I actually, after I finished Death Coach right around like uh, last Tuesday, <coughs> which I think was like the 26th maybe, around there, well, whatever date Tuesday was, um, I started another book. Um, but I'm not finished with that book yet. I, I started Whisper Down the Lane, which I got in uh, this month's uh, Nightworms. It's pretty much the first month that I've read all the books from that month from Nightworms. I still have Nightworms books up there that I definitely want to get to. Um, but yeah, I started to read Whisper Down the Lane, but um, at work, we're incredibly short-staffed, so I really didn't have a lot of time to read this past week, just trying to keep up with everything and getting all of my uh, patients pre-tested and through, so yeah, that was, it's been kind of a rough week. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I need a break, uh, but I got a vacation coming up later this week, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, so first book I'm going to read for this month, because I'm going to count it this month, because I'm going to finish it this month, will be uh, Whisper Down the Lane, which I hope I'll finish by Tuesday. Tuesday's a, a single doctor day, so I might be able to get some reading in. I actually, despite having the rough start of the month, did manage to read um, 100 pages a day, which... I kind of enjoyed. Um, a lot of days I read more than 100 pages, but that was pretty much my goal. The only days that I didn't read the 100 pages were my days off. Um, I don't read on my days off, which are Thursday and Sundays. So, I mean, I do read, just not books. So, there's that. But I pretty much stayed to it, and I did enjoy it. So I think that's cool. I can move through books a little faster that way. And I've already picked out the next book that I'm going to read uh, after I get done with Whispers Down the Lane. Now, that one, the next book I'm going to read is The Complete Smoke Trilogy by Tanya Huff. Um, the tagline is Novels of Vampires, Wizards, and TV Terror. Now, this is actually three books in one. Um, so, but don't worry, guys. I'm just going to review it in one video. I'm counting it as one book, even though, how many pages? 835. So, yeah. So, um, I've read Tanya Huff before. She's another Canadian urban fantasy author when urban fantasy was not paranormal romance. So, yeah, I'm going to be, um, 
reading this one then um from from that facebook uh horror book club that i joined where we read the bentley littles haunted uh last month we're doing an an ebook this time around called the sensitives i forgot who write it who wrote it but i'm looking forward to reading that one um i have it on my kindle because it's free from uh, Kindles Unlimited. So I'm probably going to, I actually might read that one on my days off. Try to keep that 100 pages a day going, even on my days off. Um, and then my excitement is my all-time favorite author. I've mentioned him several times before. Um, he's actually come out with a new book. It's been like several years since he's come out with a new book. And um, that came out this month in Kindle form. Um, but I think the hard copy is going to be on Amazon later this month. And I want to get that one to read. And those are the books that I've you know, pre-picked out, I guess. So, um, I'll probably go and edit and put in that ebook like here, just because I mentioned it and I want to make sure that I get the author right. So right here will be the ebook for, um, for the book club selection. Cause He's an um, indie author, and I really want more people to read more indie authors. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much so far what's on my um, TBR to be read for this month. So, anything else? Not really. Like I said, I'm just tired from overwork. Um, we're supposed to have two techs at work, but they just let me do all the teching because I'm fast, so <laughs> I just need a break. So, yeah. And we'll see what I can do to decorate and make everything look more booktube -y. So, yeah, come back some more. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you're reading this month, and, um, oh, yeah, I forgot, um, hi to all my new subscribers that, um, the Bookubus, she gave me a shout out, and I thought that was really awesome, and I appreciate it, um, yeah, but she's awesome, definitely, if for some reason you're not subscribed to her, you should be. And just look up the Bookubus because she does great, great series. Like she does um, like vintage women authors. She does vampires and it's just so much fun. You need to just watch her, her YouTube channels. And there's so many people out here that you need to watch their YouTube channels because seriously, they're just, Booktube is so much fun. I just like being here and talking to people about books and things as always. So I'll talk to you later, guys, and y'all have a good day. Bye.